Hi everybody, my name is Amy Combs and I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 25 years. I live in Simi Valley, California and I thank Jill for inviting me to present some things in the holiday catalog that I absolutely love. So I'm here today to share with you about the Night Before Christmas Suite and it's on page 24, 25, and 26 in the holiday catalog. So first I want to share with you some products from the suite. I have the Holly Jolly Christmas with this awesome Santa Claus. I have the Jolly Seasons dies that have some words that can be cut out that are really nice. And I'm missing my tag die on there. Um, it's in my stamp room somewhere. And then we have, we'll add the six by six paper, which is double sided and you get 48 sheets in the pack. So those are beautiful. If you like the vintage look, you'll love um, this paper. That's my favorite. And then we have the, um, the Memories and More cards. And Stampin' Up! changed the way they did the cards this year. And you get six of each card. So if you're a demonstrator, that's awesome because you can do a class and you can divide the cards up with your class attendees or if you're a customer, then you can create six of the same card or item that we have. And we even have six sticker sheets, okay? And they are all double-sided, so you can get diff oops, different looks there with the cards as you flip them, cut them down, and punch them out. So I want to share with you today some things that I made with all of the different items. And then the other thing that is in the suite that I skipped over are these great cards that are kind of vintagey and I mean envelopes and then cards. And then we have some <coughs> ribbon to add to that, which is double sided cherry cobbler, which is super sweet. And then a gem I found in the back of the holiday catalog was the holiday rhinestones, the basic ones. They go really, really well with this whole suite. So you can add a little bit of bling if you like that. Okay, so I created a lot of different things and I wanted to kind of break them down for you. This was using two sets of the memories and more. So in the pack, you're going to get six sets. So with this stuff, I created it with two um, of the sets. So I did one card and then very simple I did some tags where I just cut the corners off and put a ribbon through and I used the stickers on the back. And then my favorite thing to create ever are banners. Okay so on here what I did is this piece on all three panels are the cards and then I added some card stock here, and then I cut cards down. Like this was a big, um, the bigger four by six one, I cut down small. This was a four by three card, and I cut this here, and then I cut the hat to put over here. And then I used the punch on one of the cards there. This blue is designer series paper, okay? And then I just strung it all together. So that makes a cute one. Or you could do it vertical too if you would like to do it that way. So that's my banner. And then the fourth thing that I made with the two sets of cards is this envelope book where I think I've shown you this before. You take um, three envelopes that are these ones. Okay. And you're going to stick the three together. You can see how they're going to go. And then I cut the back piece here is actually our, the cards that fit into the envelope. And then I layered and cut stickers, um, the, um, the project cards, cut them down. And then on the back here, what I did, my um, string moves freely. So I just did here to here. And then this is designer series paper. And then on the front, it has a little secret in here. You can pull these out. These are the card fronts to the cards, and then you can add some pictures there. So I was going to make, um, my daughter got married last year, so I was going to make one with her and her husband, 
and then my other daughter has a significant other, so I was going to make her, and then my son, he has us, so I was just going to do us. So I was going to do that for them for Christmas, and so that's my project with two sets of cards, and then I have a couple bigger projects where I did a set of 15 cards, and I'll put these up for you guys to see. I'm going to just run up through them really quick. Um, super simple stickers, stickers here, some of the rhinestones, and some twine. Here I cut one of the cards down um, and layered and added. Here we just have the cards with a little bit of banner with the triple banner punch, some ribbon, and this I cut out of the designer series paper. Here's the Santa hat. I think that might be my favorite card. I don't know, they're all my favorite, I like them all. And I like this one, and I just um, popped up a sticker there. This one shows the spotlight technique that we used to do a long time ago, and it kind of got uh, forgotten about, I think. Um, I cut another card with a circle and then just layered it there. Fussy cut some presents. Here I cut the cards apart, and then this is the designer series paper. I just cut the Santa hats out. So just play with it and have fun. This one, this is the spotlight technique too, which is really nice. And here we have it again. And then here I cut some of the presents out and a few more layers back here. I like a lot of layers and a lot of texture on everything, so I kind of go overboard a little bit. That, here's the reindeer, which is nice on the sticker pack. Here's Santa with the spotlight, and I made him as the O for the ho-ho-ho. And then here's the Santa, and I just fussy cut him. But I did like a little bit of bubble cutting where you don't go in so fat, so far, so you can cut quite a few at the same time. So that would be a pack of Christmas cards. Then I have a scrapbook, because I love to scrapbook. Um, so on here, what I did is first I stamped with craft ink on the book and let it dry overnight. And then this is just a full six by six piece of paper, a full card, and then I cut a few cards down and added this. And then I'll just go through a couple pages with you. This is a die from the, um, the die set that coordinates. And just here's some pages. And you might say, where do you put the photos? Well, this is just a full book, and then I insert another um, pack of the pages, and that's where the photos would go. So you can go ahead, I'll put these on display, you can look through, but you can see here where I added the, um, the holiday rhinestones to the ornaments, they pop a little bit. And then um, some pages are quite full, and others are not. Okay, so hopefully that brings you some inspiration. And then I made a holiday sampler that's a decor piece for your house. And um, I did this as a class. And if you have people who say, oh, it's really pretty, but I don't use a holiday, I wouldn't use a holiday sampler. If they make cards, they could still come to the class and um, put everything, then they could just put them on cards instead of on the 12 by 12 piece of um, cardstock. This used, I used one set of the cards in the multiple pack where you get six sets. So that's the sampler. And then I had one more thing that I wanted to show you and um, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration, but um, I don't wanna put it all together because it's my measurements for you guys to copy. So I went to Salt Lake City for the onstage in April, I guess it was. April, yeah. And Ashley Van Camp, who is an artist and designer, she did this project, and so I contacted her if I could um, copy it. And then my friend Jeannie Cooker came up with this idea, so I kind of got it from her. And it is a book that you open, okay? And it has, um, it uses the acetate boxes and it uses the cards. The only thing is, is the cards for them to fit in the acetate boxes, you have to use regular size cards. So I didn't use the cards that are part of the suite. These are just um, regular cardstock, eight and a half um, by five and a half cut down. 
And so I just wanted to explain to you really quick how to do the box. And I have the pieces here and then I'll put, I'm gonna put them all back in the back. So I have two pieces of crumb cake card stuff. You're gonna cut two pieces five inches across by seven and three quarter inches down. And you're gonna score both pieces at one and a half inches. Okay, so those will be back there. Then you're gonna have the one piece for the front, if I can flip it. Okay, he, his piece is layered on this crumb cake. So you're gonna, four and three quarters by six, you're gonna cut one of those. And then this is the little binding up at the top that's gonna fold over. So how you assemble is you wanna use tear and tape and you wanna put it like this and then fold these up, okay? So you can start to see my box. Then you, you can sponge and decorate and do your front. The inside pieces that are here are actually an acetate box, and you wanna cut that in half. So now you have two pieces, and put it together. They're a little bit hard to bend. Put it together. And then I have two pieces of designer series paper. I believe they're three inches by five and three quarters. And all you do is take that and then fold it over and adhere it with your tear and tape. That then is going to become the front. There's no paper on the back. There doesn't need to be. And then you take your tear and tape and you just adhere that here. And that's your box. And then decorate your cards. So I'll show you the cards real quick that are inside, but they'll all be on display over there for you. This is a fold one. And then these two. This one's a nice fold one too. And this one. Okay, that's it for my demonstration. I hope I shared something with you that can give you a little bit of inspiration.